those of us in the aviation community have been kind of holed up and don't want to deal with the possibilities, you've been, I would guess, the leader in general aviation in regards to talking about survival issues if, in fact, you get stuck out in the boonies. Let's talk a little bit about your programs, what you're doing, and more important than anything else, what you're bringing to general aviation's future survivability. Primarily, we're developing products that fill niches that aren't filled. Uh, quality survival kits, um, explaining to people why they need a personal locator beacon and why the ELT in the aircraft is actually a backup to the PLB, not the other way around. Um, the programs, that, the presentations that I'm giving have been pretty successful at educating folks about an issue that they really haven't thought about that much. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. There have been some very interesting events over the last couple of years where Cirrus pilots have wound up in the drink, uh, of course, alive and ready to tell all the stories about it, and also some landings out in the boonies here and there. Uh, but by and large, not just Cirrus, but of course the rest of the general aviation community really doesn't think much about what happens after they get on the ground safely. Why isn't this more of an issue? I think there are two issues involved. One is nobody likes to spend money on things that they don't ever expect to use. Mm -hmm. And buying quality survival gear is not inexpensive. And if you simply look at it as an initial purchase, uh, you know, $650 for a PLB or $2,500 for a survival kit is a lot of money. If you amortize that over five or ten years of flying, it's not so bad and it's it's like life insurance except instead of paying off when you're dead it pays off by keeping you alive so you don't have to cash in the life insurance but it is a hard sell survival has always been a hard sell because m most people don't want to recognize that they might end up in that position it's much easier to say it's not going to happen to me i think what people forget is for every other person in the room you're the other guy that it's going to happen to so you're outvoted. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high performance, easy to own and easy to operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500. The jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. We've got a new aviator survival vest, which puts all the gear you need, the essential survival gear, on your person. It's very convenient because you can put it on when you get in the aircraft, take it off when you get out, but it's all there. It, if you go out of the aircraft, it goes with you. If it isn't with you, it can't save you. The big survival kit, the ultimate aviator survival kit, gathers all the rest of the gear that turns a potentially harrowing survival experience into an impromptu camping trip. And I'd rather have an impromptu camping trip than a harrowing survival experience any day. You know, by developing some of these niche products, my knives, the Ultimate Aviator Survival Pack, the Ultimate Aviator Survival Vest, I'm trying to take a decade and a half, almost two decades of knowledge, and I couldn't convince anyone else to do it. How do we get a hold of you? Where do we get more information? Equip.org. Everything's on the website, including email contact with me. I'm happy to answer people's questions. Um, there's uh, gigabytes of information on survival, what works, what doesn't, uh, what equipment you should be carrying, what equipment it's really not worth carrying, and you know, what's worth betting your life on. Doug, thank you much. Thank you.